بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد as we mentioned that when a person dies three things will leave them three things will follow them two will come return their family their wealth and their their family, their wealth and their deeds and a person's family and their wealth will return but the deeds are the only thing that will last and And another hadith the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said Ida Mat al Mari and Katal Amalahu Ilim and Salat Sadaka Jariya علم ينتفى به وولد صالحا يدعو له رواه مسلم in this hadith of Muslim it further explains the other hadith that we had mentioned that when a person dies that what is left is their deeds and if from amongst those deeds that are left is if they give sadaqah jariya they give a, a charity that people can benefit for example building a masjid some sort of continuous charity and the second one is ilm that the people benefit from knowledge so for example the person who writes books and has students that they raise up that are students that become students of knowledge and leaves behind knowledge that the people can benefit from and the third thing that the type of deed that will last for the believer is a righteous child or righteous children that supplicate on his or her behalf all of those things are those continuous type of deeds that the believer should strive in one way or another to leave behind because this day is the last day that we'll, we'll live this day meaning that this time will end tomorrow will be a new day we may or may not be here for it and years from now this will be but a memory all of those things are not lasting the experiences that we have the relationships that we have they'll go but if you leave behind those things one of those three or all of those three or two of them then you're in a great a great situation
And that's a great ni'mah from Allah. Tabarak wa ta'ala. To leave one of those righteous deeds behind. And we ask that Allah protects us as this forest has overgrown and changed quite a bit. Protect us from anything that can cause us harm. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to leave behind those those righteous those righteous actions or deeds that are accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on piety and deeds that will benefit us in this life as well as the hereafter and righteous children that will pray for us. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.